So uh, good evening, everyone, and thank you everyone for, for joining our meeting today. So I am Anwar Samatra. Uh, I'm I'm the president of this group. So I'll give a small intro about what are we going to do, do today. So last week I said we are going to do about Savannah grasslands. It's by Sandeep Viswajit, but uh, he had an issue with his computer, so he won't be doing it today. So for that, our secretary Arushi Gimhana will. Uh, do a lecture about uh, feathers of birds and so now i'll uh, hand over him so he could uh, explain it to you okay thank you Anwar. so Today we are going to learn about another important topic that we need to know about birds. That is feathers of birds. You know that birds are the only animals which has feathers to fly. These feathers are the hallmark of birds. They are unique among other animals because of these feathers they have. These feathers come in various shapes, sizes and also in various colors. Also they have many functions. Because of these colorful feathers, we can call these birds as the color of our mother nature. This is the content of my presentation. First, I'm going to explain you about what are the feathers. It's about general introduction to feathers. And second topic I'm going to explain is structure of feathers. It's about what are the main parts of a feather. Then about types of feathers. There are mainly two types of feathers we want to learn. Next, I'm going to explain about what are the damages caused to feathers. Final topic I'm going to explain is collecting feathers, which is an interesting hobby you can engage in your leisure time. What are feathers? We can say that feathers are epidermal growth that forms a distinctive outer covering or plumage on birds. Also, these feathers can cover most of birds' body. These very attractive feathers has major functions such as thermal insulation, waterproofing, support to the flight, maintaining the balance during the flight, and also for coloration. Plumology or plumage science is the name of the science that is associated with the study of feathers. Also, it's a part of this huge, in, grew, uh, huge study of ornithology. And the person who studies plumology is called as the plumologist. Now we are coming to the structures of feathers. When you look more closely at a feather, you can see it has many parts. The central line it has is called the rachis, and the and there are vein is connected to the rachis, which is made of barbs and smaller barbules. Here in this picture, I think it's clear to you what are the main parts of this feather, and also you can see calamus at the bottom part and also after feather. Here also you can see what are the main parts of feathers. Here in this slide, I insert a um, complete description about the veins of this feather. I'm not going to explain this because it takes a long time to explain this topic. So then we are going to have a next topic. It's about types of bird's feathers. These bird's feathers mainly can be categorized into two parts as contour feathers and down feathers. Then let's see what are contour feathers. Contour feathers form, form most of the surface of the bird and also they aid in flight and also for the coloration. Addition as the additional thing, they can maintain the shape of birds. 
also they can insulate and waterproof etc so many function of these feathers they have because they are the only organisms to have feathers then down feathers they are small I mean, when considering about uh, these mm, contour feathers mm, these mm, down feathers are very small they have a short calamus calamus is the down part and also um, they have a crown of barbs as rising from the free end and they haven't hook left. It helps to insulate birds. Here also I inserted some information about down feathers. What are them? What are the advantages of them? Why they are? And also what are the colors they have? How they are coming from birds? etc so many functions are there and next time I'm going to talk about color of feathers you you can observe this color in your home garden also so many birds are coming to eat and also you can see what are the colors they have because the birds are the most colorful organisms in our environment the most of this color is coming from their feathers. Some colors form as a result of reflecting light and also some colors of these feathers like brown, red and also some other dark colors are coming because of because as a result of pigment which are laid down within the growing feather. And there are many functions no. The main function of this color is to camouflage, to protect from predators, protect themselves from predators. Then about mechanical properties of feathers. Then what are the mechanical properties of feathers? Mm, these feathers need mainly three mechanical properties. They must be light, strong and wind -tight. These feathers must be light because the plumage is part of the mass. The bird has to be lifted. If it is very massive, then it can't be held easily to the air. And these feathers must be strong even because they fly across the wind and they must bear a huge pressure because of this wind. And these feathers must be also elastic to avoid uh, buckling and fracture. Now let's talk about what are the damages mm, caused to these feathers. Uh, these feathers are a structure of these birds and also the main in, and the important uh, organ and also we can say as an organ. Also they are very important. There are many damages caused to these feathers. In sometimes you can see such birds, even feathers may be damaged due to many reasons. I categorize them as natural reasons and artificial reasons. Natural reasons, they damage due to natural factors like because of predators and also rubbing from trees, etc. And also artificial reasons are there such as rubbing with artificial buildings, windows, and also vehicles. There are so many damages to these feathers. And here I inserted some damages. They can be damaged when, when the flight, during encounters with the predator or prey, as well as feathers can be damaged when they rub against one another or against objects in the environment, as I told. And the natural factor that affecting is a feather degrade as a result of photochemical reactions when ultraviolet components of sunlight you know that delta uh, uv rays ultraviolet and also they can affect the physical structure of the keratin which these birds feathers are made up of i forgot to tell that feature these feathers are made up of keratin, the substance with the same substance which our hair made up of. They also can be attracted by array of bacteria, fungi, and 
also some other uh, the microorganisms and, and also mites, lice, and other small organisms can be attract this feather. Then I'm going to explain to you about collecting feathers. How can you maintain a collection? Many people collect feathers as their hobby. These collections help them to identify and also to increase their knowledge about ornithology. So then I'm going to tell you how to maintain a feather collection. You can start to collect feathers from your home garden. First, you should take a book. Bird and please mute your microphones. I kindly request you to mute your microphones because it will disturb you. Okay. Thank you. You can start to collect these feathers. Secondly, you can paste each feathers in that book and also you can paste related information or a picture of that bird and also you can maintain a very interesting feather collection. I inserted some feather collection. These are in Singhala, but you can see them as examples. How can I make a feather collection? Here you can see parrots feather and also related information are there. Then you can see, um, this slide you can see about stalks and even a picture and even a pair of eagle. In this slide, I inserted this slide because here you can see feathers of the house sparrow and the common tailor as in Hale Bhatticha and also the gay kurula. You can maintain the collection as here. Here you can see a parrot. Mm. Parrots and their kingdom, lion, class, order, and clade, so many things as the scientific classification. You can insert these things in things to your feather collections. By this, this is a creative way to increase your knowledge about ornithology and also about birds. This is the end of our presentation. So I'm going to show you the summary, what we talked about being talked in this presentation. We talked about feathers. Feathers are epidermal growth that form a distinctive outer covering on birds. It's called as the plumage. Then the plumology study of feathers and the plumologist. The person who studies this subject, they engage in many researches, they engage in many experiments, they conduct many experiments, they do many, uh, many things to they increase their knowledge about these feathers. Then the structure. There are main three parts, uh, vein, reaches, and the calamus. And also this vein is made up of barbules and small barbs. You can see it in this picture and also other types of feathers, tower feathers and down feathers, mainly two types. Then about mechanical properties of feather, they, there are three main mechanical properties of feathers. They must be light, strong and wind tight. Then about damages. To feather, natural and artificial damages are their predators and also from that um, contact thing with um, artificial equipment, artificial buildings and also other things. So then collecting feathers as a fee. Because of this collecting feather also you can increase your knowledge as I told. So this is the end of this presentation. And then I kindly request you to join our WhatsApp group for more information and also to join with us our Facebook page and also our Telegram groups are there. 
uh, okay thank you all of you for joining this session and i hope you are tuning from the this session and also i hope um, you may you might join our whatsapp groups and also for our future meetings and also our future presentations okay anuhas Anwar, yeah. are you there? Yeah, yeah. Thank you, Arusha, for sharing uh, your knowledge about feathers of birds. And uh, so, if you have questions about uh, the presentation today, uh, you can send them to the chat box. In that chat box, there's a question. There's a question. As are there any birds uh, with some of their body parts not covered with feather? Yes, all the all these body parts of these um, birds are not covered with feathers. And also, in penguins, they haven't all surrounded and covering of these feathers. They have fur as like other um, organisms. They haven't actually. They haven't a proper feather system, feathers, and um, to maintain their flight. Thank you, Arushaya. Okay, welcome. Are there any questions? You can ask them or you can put them into the chat box. I think um, there are some questions. Uh -huh. I think there are no more any questions. So let's round up. Yeah, I think uh, there won't be any more questions. So uh, thank you everyone for uh, thank you everyone for joining our meeting. Uh, it's a great pleasure for for you. Uh, and you, you also have a small notice that uh, we will have we're gonna make a small magazine. Uh, and if you you know have a, some kind of considerable knowledge about birds uh, or researching, you can send articles through a form. We'll send it to the WhatsApp group and the Facebook group. Uh, so. I think that's it for today. Uh, so thank you again for joining.